Welcome to raigurkul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about Jira data center plan customizations. So here, this complete series is for dedicated for Jira data center version. Here, I am going to cover how to customize our project plan or Jira plan settings from Jira data center. If you want to learn about complete Jira data center version, then probably you can go ahead and watch my complete Jira data center playlist. If you want to understand this customization part of you, be available here from start to end of this video. Now, coming down to the Jira data center versions, whenever you open the plans which you have created for a project and you want to do the customization, simply click on here configure so in configure settings you will all this configuration and customization options so let's say you want to keep just estimations so here in estimation point of view whenever we are doing the estimations these estimations either day hours or story points wise if you want to set it up on hourly basis so whenever the team will add the estimated hours that is 12 so that will be considered as a 12 hours if they are adding uh, as a five. So if I've selects that I will select the days, then probably it will go ahead with the days customizations. Dates we can target set and target start date or a due date. We can mention it accordingly. That is start date. End date is target end date or target start date. So these options we can selected spin dates is this will use the spin dates when issue don't have start and end dates so configurations we can set the configuration either sequentially or concurrent so if i am selecting the concurrent dependency the probably dependent issues can be scheduled at the same time this also applies to auto schedule issues so this is a part of scheduling which is a part of customizations saved view these are the saved view which is basic sprint capacity management top label planning and dependency management so if i want to go ahead with the sprint capacity management so this will become my default view issue sources are from the project either from the projects board or filters so as of now i'm just selecting the projects and this is my selected projects exclusion rules so here we can set the exclusion rule let's say we want to exclude any completed issues after 30 days even we can set it up to 15 days that is also fine a part of that we can also exclude issue types with their types let's say i want to exclude the issues which is defect i don't want to include in my board so i will just check this and this issue type will be removed but i want to just keep the simple thing so here you can delete it everything now this is simple status based on the status we can also set it up once we'll select these status this will be added and simply in the similar way we can include and exclude it view releases if we have any releases which we want to exclude it that is also we can exclude it so that whenever we are looking into the plan we can't see the excluded part if we want to remove any of the issues which is already there we can remove it other than that we can also add custom fields if we want to add any custom fields from here We'll select this and this custom fields will be added successfully. So these are the custom fields where we can add it. Permissions in scheme. In permissions scheme, we can set it all advanced roadmap user or we either we can set it up to restricted. So whenever we are setting up the restricted, we can add the email ID. So whoever is having the email ID added here, that person will be able to see the plan other than that we can also give the view permissions so if it is restricted to just view permissions for these users so the probably these users will be able to access it and, uh, and we can also select the group wise scenarios if you want to enable scenarios that is also fine totally up to our requirements how we want to customize the jira plan so this is a set of data center versions as my default in the cloud version so if you want to understand the cloud version please watch my cloud version playlist so that's all about jira data center version plan customizations hope you enjoyed the thing if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching